Hey everyone, welcome to a, another DV Wednesday video. Um, this one is all about assessors, uh, namely assessors for your skill, physical, volunteering, and if you're doing a gold, your residential section. Um, it is not to do with assessors for your expedition section because they operate slightly differently um, to other assessors. Okay, um, now kind of I guess before we get started it's you know where does an assessor come into it um, an assessor is the person who's basically going to sign the paperwork off to say that you've completed it so without the assessor you cannot complete that section you can do all the time towards it that you want however if you don't have an assessor to sign it off and that assessor doesn't meet, you know, and you might have someone in mind, but that assessor might not meet the criteria of what it means to be an assessor, then you're not going to complete that section. You're potentially going to have to start all over again. So the assessor is uh, some is, is quite important in terms of your journey on that on on that particular on those sections. Okay, and I would always recommend you, you know, they're so important. That for me, whenever I talk to groups, I always recommend that you find the assessor before you actually start the activity. OK, now, in most cases, it's really easy to find your assessor. But in some cases, uh, which we'll talk about, it's a lot more difficult. But make sure you confirm your assessor before you actually start that activity. OK, so if you've got right, I want to do uh, this activity um, and it's part of this group. This is the person needing. I'm going to go speak to that person. Just check with them before you start, because if they then turn around, if you just assume they're going to be an assessor and at the end you give them the paperwork and you say, can you fill this in? They say no. You're in a bit of a pickle, right? Um, it becomes a little bit more complicated. So, yeah, uh, make sure you choose them first. That's how important they are, really. Um, but normally, like I say, it's quite easy. So an assessor, what is an assessor? An assessor is someone who um, understands the activity that you're doing, Okay, has some sort of knowledge um, on that area um, and is going to take some time to um, check that you're doing what you're doing Okay, and support you to grow within that activity. Okay, um, so it doesn't become static. It doesn't become a plateau. Your assessor is going to support you to say, right, okay, this is what you want to do next. This is how I want to, this is what I want to see to make sure that you're actually doing what you're meant to be doing. Now, in previous videos, we have talked about assessors a little bit. We've, we've spoken about the various different sections, uh, but just as a quick run through, okay, um, your physical assessor is checking that, you know, in, in the main thing they're checking for is that the physical activity you're doing is, is, at, a, is at a level which is encouraging you to improve your physical health. OK, so if you're if you're walking, for instance, you're not just ambling along if ambling along is really easy for you. For some people, it's not. But for some people it is. And that assessor is going to be, you know, there, there is a, a standard. It's they're looking at each individual person saying this is what this is where you're at. OK, if you're doing your skill, it's that your 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 ability in that skill is improving. OK, um, so that's what the assessor is mainly checking there. And uh, your volunteering is that you're turning up every weekend and you're actually taking part. OK, not just sitting there, you know, um, I've had it in the past where, you know, we've had people turn up to volunteering for some of our projects and they sit there and they, they don't do anything. OK, um, so as as the assessor or, uh, you know, I'm checking to say, well, have you, you know, you, you've not been taking part. Why are you not taking part? Uh, let's try and work out what's going on here. OK, the assessor isn't there to tell people off. OK, they're just there to kind of check that you're doing what you're doing, uh, that you're doing what you're meant to be doing, sorry, uh, and that it's meeting the criteria that DOV set, okay? Now, if you're kind of stuck as to what those criteria are, inside your packs, when you get them, you will have a little book with lots of different colored bits of paper in there, one for each of your sections, and on one side of it, it's got your assessor's report where they have to fill it in. So when you've completed it, you'll get them to complete all the, do uh, the details in the ticket, then you can take a photo of that and upload it to your eDV account. On the other side of that piece of paper, it's got the conditions of what 
what is an assessor what does an assessor do and it will be specific to that section um but i mean it's pretty much the same essentially they need to know what they're talking about when you know they need to have some knowledge of the activity that you're doing um and they need to be able to check that you're doing it on that regular basis so you know we're, we're talking about once a week an hour a week um and they're going to be checking for that they're also there to support you okay so if things are difficult um they're there to help you essentially um to achieve you know the end result there um so if there are certain difficulties feel free to talk to your assessor and just say look these are the difficulties i'm having okay can you you know what can you think of that might be able to help so you know don't be afraid to ask those questions um like i say they're, the assessor is, is meant to be a supportive person but they are really important because they have to sign the police paper at the end of it okay um i was saying in most cases uh finding an assessor is quite easy because normally if you were doing something like a group activity uh you went to a football club a karate class um a, you know a language class um something like that you know yoga lessons um art classes you're going to have like someone who's in charge of that class you're going to have a teacher or a coach or an instructor those would naturally be your first port of call in terms of your assessor okay so check with them um if they say no like i say it gets a bit more complicated because then you've got to find someone who who can do all of these things but without being in that class okay it cannot be right a family member <laughs> right so you know if your if your mum is your karate teacher okay unfortunately your mum can't sign your um your your uh report um or you know something like that you know an uncle an auntie anyone like that they're not allowed to be your assessor okay um equally i believe it cannot be a a family member of anyone who is in your dv group should check that i did I, I read something in the booklet that that said you know uh cannot be related to any participant um so you know i don't know if people disagree with me or not but um the way i read that means that you know if it's your best friend's parents they can't be your assessor either um saying that speak to your dv leader because you know they might be happy with that they'll speak to the schools uh, or the centers verifier uh, and just make you know just check with them um and see if they're happy because i know every center is slightly different in terms of some of these you know how strict they are with some of these rules now in most cases like i say it's nice and easy however sometimes it does become a little bit more difficult for instance if you're doing something at home you might be doing yoga classes at home art classes at home you might want to teach yourself how to edit videos um you might be you know going on rambles every week um not as part of an organized group you're just going out for a walk um as part of your physical okay how do you get an assess for that well that's where you'll have to start asking around um sometimes i mean if it's a physical activity sometimes asking a p teacher um if it's a skill is asking a teacher that is you know um un that understands that particular skill um so you know video editing you might speak to a media teacher they don't have to be experts in the field they just need to know something about it enough to be able to support you um and kind of point you in kind of the right direction okay should you get stuck um also with the, with some of these things you know especially with skills there might be booklets that you can just follow and you just say right this week i'm gonna do chapter one next week i do chapter chapter two chapter three chapter four um it's just making sure you're spending that kind of you know uh hour a week doing it and that your assessor is happy so if you're asking a teacher who isn't there are they happy that you're doing it every week how do you show them what do they what proof do they want that you're doing it every week um and that's a negotiation so talk to them once you you know and um because they might you know they might not know exactly how it's going to be assessed so you can talk to them equally drop me a message if you if you're not sure drop me a message and i you know i've, I've been through this uh, conversation a few times so i might have some ideas all right um and then yeah 
So that that's basically, in terms of the assessor, like I say, sort that out right at the start. Make sure that they meet those criteria. Um, and then at the end of it, once you've completed all your time and your assessor is happy that you've completed all the time, that means that any weeks that you've missed, you've caught up as well. Um, they can either complete the page in your booklet and don't give them the booklet. Don't give them the page. OK, it doesn't have a perforation on there. Don't tear it out and give it to them because they might, you know, it might get lost. I'm not saying they will lose it, but sometimes it gets lost and then people kind of panic um, as a result of that. Um, yeah, so get them to fill in the booklet and then and then you can take a photo and upload it to EDV or send them to the website. OK, which is uh, dv.org forward slash assessor right um nice and easy uh, and it will come up there you will have to provide them with some details um such as your um edv id number the dates in which you were doing the activity and the level that you're doing as well um they should hopefully know your name right <laughs> um but i think those four bits of information they'll need to know uh, beforehand then when they when they they'll kind of find you on the system and they can and they can write uh, your report um for that and also what section you know it's part of um because you don't want them completing this the report for it for the wrong section um and then that's basically that's basically it really uh once you've done that nice and easy so uh yeah nice quick one uh let me know how you thought that was um you know do you have any issues with assessors um let me know in the comments um and don't forget to like and subscribe and share you know all that stuff um but i guess until the next one i'll see you later ciao